Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. I look really blue for some reason but I think it might just be the weather outside and I'm not really advanced in this camera so I'm not really sure how to change that but I hope you don't mind. Also if you hear screaming it's the primary school, like the local primary school, I think it's playtime or PE or something and they're very excited. But nonetheless today I'm feeling a whole day off of uni. This is actually quite funny because yesterday I filmed a whole day of uni and then I was like oh I've got tomorrow off maybe I'll just reverse it and do the same today. I've been, become a bit addicted to filming recently so it was just another chance for me to pick up the camera really but today's also hopefully going to be quite an interesting day so I thought it'd be fun just to take you with me along for the day so you can kind of see what I get up to too on my days off. I'm trying to speak too fast and my words are slurring because you're the first person I've spoken to today really so let me take a breather and I'll get back to you. So I got up this morning at half past nine so I had a bit of a lion. If you've been at my channel for a while you know I usually get up at nine so not that much of a lion really like I don't get up very early usually but tacked on an extra half an hour which was very nice and then I've just got ready so I've just like half-heartedly curled my hair and as you saw put a hell of a lot of product in it but I'm trying to wash my hair less but I don't know if washing my hair less but still using more product is better but like this is the first bit of product I put in it just because it really needed it and I've got ready for the day so I've just got this little like Libra necklace which honestly is on its way out because all the gold is rubbing off but this was from Primark and it was like two quid then oh no I've got dry shampoo on me I think okay need to sponge that off but this black t-shirt is from Primark as well extra small in the men's section and then I've got this cute skirt which is from Nasty Gal um, and it has a little split in it, sorry about the mess down there, but I think it's really cute and I'm going to pair it with some combat boots because I'm going out to brunch today with my friend Karen. We actually met on Bumble BFF, which if you haven't heard of, it's like Bumble, and if you haven't heard of Bumble, it's like Tinder, but for BFFs, just because during my year in placement I was finding it quite hard to like meet people my age because... I don't know, I don't really go out a lot, like partying or anything, so I wasn't really meeting many people. So we met on there like a year ago, and we've been besties ever since. So I'm going to go have brunch with her, which will be really fun. And then I may or may not be painting the new apartment this evening. Sorry, just had to change arms. So if I haven't told you already, which I'm not sure I've made like an announcement, but me and Christian are officially moving, which I'm really excited about. We're moving in with our friends Kate and Loz, which Christian actually works with. Um, and they've moved in already. We've still got two months until we move in because we just handed in our notice. Um, so yeah, they're currently painting everything. So I just said, like, I've got this afternoon off. If you want me to help, let me know because it's like a 20 minute drive from ours. So it's not far and I feel bad that they're painting everything and then we're just going to move in with everything done. So I've offered my hand with that. So we'll see if they take me up on it or not. I kind of hope they do because I love a bit of DIY and redecorating. And it would also really be really cool to kind of capture the room before it's painted. But that will be like an entirely separate video. But for now, I can't have breakfast because I'm going out for brunch. But I am going to make a coffee because my stomach is like starting to, you know, like I don't know what to call this, but it's like it's making a lot of movement down there and I need some food. <laughs> So I thought whilst I have my coffee I might as well tell you what I usually do on like my days off so if you don't know I'm a student at the University of Greenwich, hi my name's Amber, welcome to my channel, but um, I do events management at the University of Greenwich and the hours aren't that many, I do seven hours a week I think so I only go in on Tuesdays and Fridays, I always get those confused, Tuesdays and Fridays so I usually have Monday, Wednesday and Thursday off, today is currently Wednesday. Um, and I tend to do the library on Monday for like five hours or so. Um, I've actually filmed that as well as a productive day in my life because I really, like, I'm on the grind on that day. Um, so if you want to see that, I'll link that below. But that's what happens on a Monday and then Wednesday. I tend to use that as my YouTube day so I don't do any uni work on a Wednesday normally. I just kind of edit, film upload thumbnails all of that good stuff which is actually working out really well because at the moment I'm currently posting like two videos a week where I used to only do one um, which one just seems silly when I had so much time off so I've been able to upload a lot more now that I've set like a day aside to edit everything which is really good and then on the Thursday I tend to go back to the library depending on what my workload's like so this week will I go to the library I'm not sure if I will because I've only got one subject that I need to do work for for 
the Friday slash Monday, which I could probably do here because it's not too labour intensive because I've already started it, so it's just tying up some loose ends. But that tends to be kind of my typical week. Um, and I also work in the evening, so sometimes I'll work today or Thursday or Friday. Um, I've actually got work tomorrow, so that's where I'll be then. But other than that, on a typical day off, I tend to wake up at about nine, half past nine, um, and I tidy the house. That's the first thing I do when I wake up. Not anything like laborious, I just kind of pick up the odd items here and there. When I come back from my brunch, I'm actually going to pop on the washing because I've got some laundry to do. Um, but yeah, I just kind of pick up the house. The thing that gets left behind the most is the washing up, which you'll see currently is a disgrace. But usually I just like make the bed and pick up some like items that are in our room. And then Christian also has like his own like gaming room, like his man cave. So I usually just go in there and like collect the mugs and stuff that he's left from the night before. And then I usually just chill. As I said, Wednesday is my YouTube day, so I would be editing and all of that good stuff, which I was supposed to do this morning, but I slept in which is very naughty. Let me actually see what the time is, because I'm just sat here chatting, I don't actually know when I need to leave. <laughs> okay, cool. It's currently... Let me turn my brightness up so you can actually see. God, I've got dry shampoo on absolutely everything. My screen is, like, all dusty. Um, it's currently 10.21, um, and I'm meeting Karen at 11.30, so I've got a good 40 minutes, which is nice. Maybe I could actually get some editing started then that's a plan um but yeah i've got 40 minutes because we are meeting at london bridge and we're going to the bermondsey yard cafe which i've been to once but i've only ever sat on the outside bit because they've got a nice little courtyard there um so we had like a hot chocolate there a while ago um but we've never been inside so hopefully we'll get to go inside and see what brunch they have because i'm really hungry i'm fancying like a granola or egg kind of thing but we'll see. I'm also trying to be good. I'm trying to not spend too much money because I'm going to Brighton this weekend and I know my card is going to be tapping a lot. So I'm trying to be like sensible because last year, last, year, last month's paycheck wasn't huge. Um, but this one hopefully will be because I've been working a lot more. But I still haven't got that money yet so I can't spend it until I have it. Which is very hard to get in my mind because I'm like, oh it's fine because I will have money. But then I'm going to be screwed for December because I would have spent it all already. Does anyone else feel that? Just student life maybe? Student overdrafts? Always the way. Anyway, I'll catch up with you when I'm on transit to go. So I've just shoved on my big winter grey coat from H&M with my little poppy on it. And it's time to go. I'm so hungry. cute Karen is. She bought me flowers for my birthday. So cute. But brunch was really good. I'm now just heading home to put my new flowers in some water and Kate and Laws are officially at the apartment so I can go in and help start painting which is great but I need to make these guys at home first. Hi I'm home. So whilst I'm putting these huge flowers like they're the longest flowers I've ever seen I thought I'd talk to you about how brunch went. Just gonna chop the ends off my flowers. But brunch was so good. We didn't end up going to the Bermondsey Yard Cafe, which I'm really sad about, but it was closed for a private event. So we couldn't go there. Not our fault at all. Could have called to double check. Like, I can't even. These are so long. Um, but yes, yeah, so we ended up going to Tanner and Co, which is like literally next door. And if you know, I used to work there as an event planner. So that was a little blast from the past, um, but I just had avocado and eggs on toast, which was so good. I'm going to have to chop these all together, you know, they're kind of like stuck together. Also, there's like wooden ones. Can I cut those? I don't know. Um, but yeah, it was just really fun to kind of catch up, see how she was doing, catch up with her life. She's always got something new going on. I tend to be a bit boring in the sense like she's like, what's new with you? And I'm always like, ah. But I did manage to, get, to tell her that I'm moving, which was really cool because she didn't know. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to pop these in some water. Then I need to try and find some clothes, which I don't mind getting wet or like paint them. Um, and then, oh, I just cut a leaf off. I don't think I was supposed to do that. And then I'll show you my bouquet of flowers and I'm off to the new apartment. Yeah, 
I will speak to you soon. I'm not even kidding, this is probably the biggest bouquet of flowers I have ever had. It looks really cool with the painting, but like, it's huge! It's so pretty though, it's got like the autumnal leaves at the back, and there's like another little sprout and a little wooden bit at the top. And then I just put the more like delicate ones down here, but like, it doesn't look as big on camera, but if you could see it in person, it's like very similar size to my tree. <laughs> I am ready to go. I've got a red jumper on, an orange shirt and some black leggings, all of which were from my charity shop pile. So they're not clothes that I'll be using anytime soon. I do feel a bit bad for like taking it out of the charity pile because I feel like, like I'm taking it from a charity but like they're my clothes. Do you know what I mean? But this is like super bobbly so I don't feel bad if I get paint on it, which hopefully it'll be warm there so I can just wear the orange t-shirt that I've got underneath. But I feel like I've got stuff in my teeth. It's about a 25 minute drive, so I'm going to get going. I'm going to take my, take my tubs of paint with me and start sampling. Hello great angle it's now five o'clock i think 502 and i'm heading home i've been painting and sanding and polyfilling for the last three or three hours three hours i think yeah three hours um i didn't film much of it just because pretty boring <laughs> but i hope you saw my paint samples let me know which one you prefer because i'm struggling but right now I'm going to drive home, get some food because I'm starving and start editing some videos that I should have done this morning. I'm home. I've still got my coat on because it's freezing in my house. But it's around six o'clock. Driving home took ages. I think everyone was trying to get home from work so it was kind of the wrong time to leave but never mind. I feel like I actually had quite a productive day considering it was my day off. I am just uploading a video. I don't know if you can see it from there. Probably not, but I'm uploading a video, so it's also success uh, successful, I just proofed it and I'm happy with it, so it's going live. Um, that will be up on Sunday, but it will probably already be up when you're watching this. It was the full day of uni, full day of my life. Um, basically the opposite to what this was. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't got much footage, I'm not sure how much I was able to capture today to be honest. It's just because, I'll be really honest with you, I haven't told the people I'm moving in with that I have a YouTube channel so it felt a bit weird being like can I just do a time lapse of me polyfilling this wall you know so I still need to have that conversation I still find it awkward like telling people I much rather they just like discover it on their own rather than me like making a thing of it I don't know but that's why I didn't film whilst I was there Obviously didn't film whilst I was driving because A, it's pitch black, like the sun is long gone and also driving in sand traffic also isn't very exciting. But for now, I'm going to make some dinner. God knows what I'm going to have. Christian's at an exhibition this night, this night, this tonight. Christian's at an exhibition tonight. So I'm home alone. So I've got a couple of videos to try and edit, which will be good. Help me pass the time. And I'm also watching Full House, which if you don't know what it is, it's on Netflix and it's like an 80s TV show. And I bloody love it. It's like just so wholesome and happy and you don't have to concentrate on it very hard. So I'm currently watching that. I think I'm actually going back to the apartment tomorrow to do some more DIY bits to try and help out where I can um, because Laws is back at work tomorrow. So it will just be Kate there. So hopefully I can help her out a bit. Um, but that is my evening. That was my day off. I hope this was interesting. I hope I've put it together in a way that makes sense. <sighs> Editing Amber, try your best. But thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe down below because I'm posting two videos a week at the moment and you're definitely going to want to hang around for those. I'm sure I'll be doing another one of these again soon. Like I said, I have two days off a week. So if you have enjoyed this, let me know and I can definitely do that for you. But yeah, hopefully see you soon. Bye.